Christina, I guess to boil together all the issues that the market is fixated on right now, right? What will the Fed do? Uh, how much might it ease? What will the signals be today? And then the China incremental uh, tariff move today is how much is the world slowing down? Can central banks do anything to help out? Where do you sit? Well, certainly the world is slowing down a little bit more today after China's announcement. And I don't think central banks can do anything to stop this. They do not have the remedy uh, for this illness. Uh, the only remedy is really uh, dialing down of the trade wars, and I don't see that happening. However, the Fed can improve markets. Uh, we saw that uh, in the global financial crisis. Sending accommodation into the economy might not impact the general economy, but it can help markets, especially stocks. And so with, in that context, what will the Fed do uh, in terms of signaling today, do you think, and what should it be doing? Well, I think that the Fed will make it very clear that tariffs are a very serious threat to the global economy and also assert that they stand ready to make another insurance rate cut if they remain concerned. And clearly, um, there are more concerns today than there were yesterday. That would seem it's going to leave them a little bit behind the market, though, if just another insurance rate cut is the message, right? But we heard from other FOMC members yesterday, and they're very reluctant to make another rate cut. So I think that Powell needs to be very measured in what he says today. Uh, Matt, uh, read the bond market's mind for us a little bit here. Obviously, we've had this collapse in longer-term bond yields in the last several weeks. Uh, it's a global phenomenon. What is it telling us about growth? And where would you look to position relative to different segments of the bond market right now? Right. So the bond markets are, are the long end of the bond market is, is influenced by the global slowdown trade. The front end is a Fed trade. We think the front end is actually pretty logical at approximately at 155, 160. The Fed is going to be forced to cut. It's that back end that is representing the trade uncertainty. We think that back end should steepen as some of the trade uncertainty begins to slowly abate. It's going to take time. Uh, but we think the message from the Fed will be that they're going to be forced effectively to cut. The other governors have set up for the slowness. It's Powell's time to now signal uh, a more expedient move. And in that environment, we like U.S. domestic uh, instruments that, that do well in low rates. So housing and commercial real estate related uh, bonds. Although, Christina, just got done saying that cutting rates does not address the problem at hand. This is not about the cost of capital, as Harker said yesterday. What's your response to that? I don't think that's true. I think there's offsets. There are components of the economy that will do, do, do well. Housing, uh, for example, will do well. Commercial real estate will do well. There's offsets on the wealth side. There's benefits on the, the, the market side. But it's a double-edged sword. It's not an impotent tool. It's just not as effective as it used to be.